Yeah, dreary day out there, and some folks are going to get wet today. It should stay pretty light and fairly limited, but we're seeing that green showing up at the bottom of the screen there. That is a hint of moisture getting across our southern border. It's related to showers that are more numerous down across Tennessee and all those firing along a stalled front down there. So shouldn't be a factor here. We're all in on the cloud cover, though, and it's just a dreary Wednesday. There are those showers from the Carolinas west where the real winter weather action is going. It's in two separate spots. You've got one out towards Albuquerque, uh, parts of Arizona, New Mexico, still getting hit with snow. They've still got winter storm warnings, and uh, they've got winter weather advisories as you head east towards Dallas. Icing is a huge issue through a good chunk of Texas, even up towards Oklahoma where there's a winter storm watch and you can see uh, that mixed precipitation on the back edge of that uh, precipitation shield there. So this is part of the system, a low. It's gradually going to work its way along the Gulf Coast by Friday morning down toward uh, Alabama, Mississippi, and then push rain in our direction later this week. So yeah, it's a slow mover. Now once it gets up here, it'll pick up speed. And of course, we're not talking winter weather. I bet you know what's coming. Uh, once again, here comes the rain again. That low is going to track through and unfortunately set us up for what could be a pretty wet start to the weekend. Overcast skies today. Not much hope of seeing sunshine through that mess and uh, those showers becoming more numerous south and east late this evening and then should start to uh, fizzle out overnight. And the good news, uh, I believe Chris and Dia were talking about this, how we may see a brief little round of sunshine tomorrow. Yes, it is in the cards. Check that action out Thursday. Enjoy it while you can, because by Friday, Thursday night, Friday, clouds thickening up again out ahead of the approaching system. I was just telling you about this starts you out Friday morning. Here comes the rain, and we could see yet another half inch to an inch of rain by the time this is done Saturday, which means... We're going to get soggy again. We may have some localized flooding issues there because, I mean, we're saturated. We just can't recover. We can't get a break long enough to do it. This is what it looks like through our North Lexington YMCA weather bug camera. It's 43 degrees. Temperature is just not going to move much at all today with the extensive cloud cover in place. So we'll probably stay mid to maybe upper 40s for highs. But you can see through the rest of at least this uh, graphic all the way into Tuesday of next week, we're bumping around around or slightly above or even a good chunk above our average high, which is in the low 40s. We can be in the 50s at times. There are indications out there that the jet stream is going to start to buckle the upper level winds. When that starts to happen, you get these big troughs digging in. I've got you all the way out January 11th, the end of next week. We could start to see these more typical January cold intrusions, maybe not dipping that far south. This is the European computer model, but still, at least through the Great Lakes, maybe impacting the Ohio Valley, definitely the East Coast with a bigger ridge out west. We may start to see some actual cold or colder air working its way into the picture and maybe actually feel like winter around here, if that's your thing. Some folks are enjoying the milder temperatures, upper 40s. Problem is, we just can't shake the rain. Some sprinkles around, some showers southeast, down to freezing overnight. Those showers diminish overnight south and east. And then tomorrow and the rest of the eight day, well, you can see the ups and downs I just showed you. There could very well be another round of rain early next week, Dia. And then maybe start to see those cold outbreaks beyond the end of the eight day. Uh, you don't need any cold outbreaks. Just keep it in the 50s. Fine <laughs> with me. Tom, thank you.